Hello and welcome to TechSlash. Today I'll be showing you how to properly delete files off an iPhone using iMyPhone's UMate Pro. So let's get started. Just before we have a look at the application and how to use it, just want to tell you why you would want to use something like this. If you delete a photo, document, whatever off your phone or any device for this matter, it won't actually properly delete. It's still, using apps, you can still actually recover the data. Um, so you use these type of applications to then fully erase it off your phone. So, now that we've launched the application up and everything, I'm going to go completely through it. I've just plugged in my phone, which you can hear going off, and we're greeted with these menus and this screen here. Now, so, one click free up space does pretty much what it sounds like. Um, it will cl clear up space on your phone if you're running out of phone, so you've got a 16 gig phone. Can free some of that up by getting rid of junk files, temp files, some photos that you don't need, large files and some apps. So you can do that, you can click quick scan, it'll scan through your phone, and it'll tell you what you have of each thing and what you can clean up. Then we've got this next one called Erase All Data, which this is say you're wanting to sell the phone or something like that, where you want to erase all data and make sure there's nothing left of you, basically. So this can go in if you click erase, it'll then erase everything off, reset back to factory defaults, and you can, then you can give it to that person or whatever. Then erase deleted files. So this one, say you've gone in, you've deleted a photo, this will actually properly delete it, get rid of all the code on the phone, so then it's completely gone. Erase private data, same thing as, same thing as what I was talking about with erase all data, but keeping all your settings and whatnot, it's just erasing your private data. And then you can erase private fragments. Um, anyway, we'll leave this one out for the time being, but say let's for you today, I'll do an example for you. So let's go erase private data. So go scan, it'll then scan the phone. Depending how big the phone or how many files you got on the phone, it'll take different amounts of times to scan. So just wait for that to do its thing. Okay, so now that it has scanned through the, through the files, um, I've just clicked off message and call history, there's stuff in there. Um, so you can now see as photos in here. So let's say we then uncheck those two boxes. Just taking some photos here quickly for you guys to have a look at whatnot. So then if we go erase now, like that one thing that you have to do um, to get this application to work is for, is turn off from my iPhone. So it has an inbuilt has an inbuilt um, tutorial of how to do that. So let's go in and just turn it off quickly. Okay, so now that we've got that turned off, if we go try again, should recognize it's turned off. Go erase. And to just make sure you want to do that, you can type in delete. One also thing that this application is built in that is very good is you've got different security levels so low level it will overwrite the data with zeros to ensure they're not recoverable but it's not the the safest thing and people can tell you've tried to do that medium level which is recommended is it overriding your device with junk files to make sure they're not recoverable and like they say here no one will know you have erased your device <clears throat> and then high level if is recommended if you have any previously saved files 
um, on your phone, and this this is pretty much so good that the security standard is based on a US standard. So you know if you're doing that high level, whatever you got on your phone, I don't want to know. It's definitely gone. So let's just go medium and go delete. And it'll say roughly how long it'll take. We go continue. And now just sit and wait for it to do. Don't touch the phone. Leave it doing its thing. And then we should come back and the file should be gone. Okay, so it will restart the device now. Um, as it's saying on the screen, I have to enter my password to unlock it. Um, which, which you just um, put in once it updates, so then it can properly erase it. Okay, so now that would, after you click goal, take its process. It probably take a while, depending on how many things you got, and then you it'll pop you up with this screen. Your selected files have been erased completely. So now I can check on the phone here. If you look on my camera roll, I'm seeing nothing on my camera roll. It's completely deleted them off the device and they're completely, you cannot recover them whatsoever. So, this is a simple overview on how to use um, on my phones, you made pro. So actually I forgot to say at the start of the video, if you want to buy this, there'll be a link below in the description for Windows and Mac. You can get your discount. You can get a discount code. So I'd just like to thank I my phone for providing the software. So guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you next one. Bye.